Hey guys, it's Demon Jester 44 here again with Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus. During our last episode, we completed a unseen, f the unseen foe, and we, f I failed epically at the ending of the level. But I did find all the clues in one go, so that's worth props all around altogether. So um, let's see, let's look at our map. Uh, let's see what do we have left. Apparently, we have a King of the Hill. Oh, it's over here. Never mind, I was about to say, we have a level, but I don't know where it is, but I found it. That's all that matters. The King of the Hill. If I remember correctly, this is the racing level. Is it the racing level, or is it the shootout level? It is the shootout level. So, like I said in Sunset Snake Eyes, there are two sh turret levels, and there are two racing levels. This is the second turret level, and it's the same exact thing as the other one. But with different enemy placement and all and whatnot. Same objective: protect Murray from the enemies, shoot them. And the enemies in this time are the Flaming Temple Flame Monkeys, that were not enemies actually, but they were just there for decoration. But apparently, they are enemies to Murray. Go I don't know. I don't know anything anymore. Uh. Oh, I forgot about you. So every time you kill an enemy, Murray sometimes, well, not every time, I think most of the time, whenever you kill an enemy, Murray shouts kudos to you for saving him, because he's too weak and pathetic in this game to actually do anything himself. But that changes now as we get to our next game. Spoiler alert, spoiler alert, spoiler alert. Uh, there's not really much to talk about, I have to say. It's the same concept as the other level. But we have monkeys now, instead of dogs and they have nunchucks and they make Murray look like a bitch pointless elevator se sequence in case you didn't know how they worked well you should have oh god so over as you just saw not only are the flaming temple of flame monkeys the enemies but now the snowball monkeys are enemies and now like the sunset snake guys version there is a bunch of flashlight guard sequence up there, which we'll get to when Marie finally gets up there. Uh, two nunchuck monkeys, that's what their new names are. I'm not calling them Flaming Temple of Flame Monkeys anymore, because that just takes too long to say. <laughs> so anyway, this is where the flashlight guard segment comes into play. He sets off an alarm, and pretty easy from here on in. They only come from these four areas, I believe. And the first four go in a row. Now, oh, never mind. They come from the roof, too. And that's where the pattern breaks. So, if you're having any trouble with this level at all, just watch this and get the pattern down. It's not that hard, even if you don't know the pattern. It zooms into where the enemies are, so... That's it. A 3 minute 30 second level. That, that, that was impressive. While the other ones take like 10 minutes each. I, I'm impressed. Down out. Down out. That was so much fun. Well, now that we still have 8 minutes to do absolutely nothing, um, let's unlock the second series of levels as are in every single main world. Key animation, yo! And if you hit the fireworks, they go up in an arch, and then they go BOOM! Good number of coins over there, if you can actually get to them. That was a lot of coins! So, down here, and through this easily breakable wall. That lady's gonna talk. What about that other 1%? Well, in that case, Sly, you will be blown to bits. But the experience will no doubt be spectacular. Nice. Now, to unlock these rockets, you're going to need all seven of the Panda King's treasures. What else is new? I'll steal them in no time. You need seven keys to reach to the boss. That's something that's been un that's unheard of. So, quick tour of the levels that we still need. Three in this area. Uh, oh yeah. Terrible pun right here. General Sao. Get it? Like the chicken? 
Jar like the chicken. Yeah, the Chinese food. Yes. I know. It's a terrible pun. Uh. The game designers planned on you going up over here to reach this level by just jump spider jumping over here and walking over here and just jumping down on him. But as you already saw, the name of this level is the Desperate Race. As you can infer, it is a racing level. I don't know why the level marker actually activates over here when the level's over there. But whatever. So that's a racing level. Um up here is what we have here another one of the turret levels from miss ruby's lair and we're missing one more where is it up hmm i honestly don't know where to go it's not really that big oh never mind climb up here and up here why do i see something oh okay and soccer dude will greet you and he is blocking the entrance to Duel by the Dragon. Um, if you were paying attention to my narration in earlier episodes, it should be clear which level this is. I'll save that for the last of this batch. Um, if all goes according to plan, next video we can fit in the racing level and the turret level. And the moving tur turret level into one video, and then we can save this for the la uh, next video after that. But I don't know what we're going to do. We'll see what happens when we get to it. So, I'm going to stop right here in the midair. Panorama view. Am I going to die when I unpause? With my luck, yes. This has been DB Jester 44. So let's play Sly Crippin and Thievius Raccoonas part... What part are we up to? 28? I believe we're up to part 28 already. Um, and yeah, I'll see you all next time. Rate, comment, subscribe. And I never can come up with a catchy closing line without saying the same thing over and over again. So, rate, comment, subscribe. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.